I'm going to show you now how to link boxes in Word 2013 in Windows 8 so that you guys can see how this is done. It hasn't changed from the other versions, so if you know how to do it in this version, you can do it in the other version as well, on earlier versions as well. Okay, so the first thing is to go ahead and insert a text box. So I'm going to go to the Insert tab, and from the text box, I'm going to choose Draw text box. So I, don't, I want to control how it looks like, uh, although there are options underneath that give you custom colorful text boxes. And here I'm going to type in equals, rand, open paren, close paren, hit return, and that gives me a couple paragraphs. If you span the text box, you will note that it is quite a few paragraphs that it gives you to get started. I'm going to only show the second paragraph. Next, I am going to go ahead and choose yet again insert and select text box and draw text box. And I'm going to draw another box here. Then I am going to go back to the first text box and I'm going to do something called create link. Once I click create link, I can go ahead and get this little cup Notice how it changes the icon when I go inside the second text box. Click on the second text box and voila, I have now two text boxes. They're linked to each other. So now I can go ahead and take this box into this page and this box into say the third page and they will be linked together. So every time I add new context in here or content then or returns, then it will go ahead and spill over the other text box. On 2013, they did something uh, awesome. Uh, it's already been in existence on the Mac end, but finally they got this done. If you click on this little button that shows here, you will be able to go ahead and choose in line with text, with text wrapping, and you can go ahead and actually do text wrapping around the, the, the text box a lot easier than before. Uh, in case you have text already in the background, you can use this essentially as a graphic and then have the text go around or to the left or underneath or top of the box. So if you wanted to create another box linked to this, I'm going to go ahead and make this box this way. You would create another box. So you go ahead and select insert text box, draw text box, and then make your text box the shape you want it to be. Then you click on the second one because that's what we're linking and create a link to the third. And that's how you link text boxes in Windows 8, Microsoft 2013.